Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rpnt.ca and today we're going to be talking about the drug levothyroxine, also known as Synthroid or Levothroid. Levothyroxine belongs to the drug classification of thyroid replacement hormones, which are simply drugs that replace or supplement the hormones that the thyroid gland produces naturally. The thyroid gland produces the thyroid hormones triiodothyronine, also known as T3, and thyroxine, also known as T4, and the peptide hormone calcitonin. The thyroid is situated at the front of the neck, just below the Adam's apple. Levothyroxine is a synthetic form of T4, which is chemically identical to natural T4. If you ever forget if levothyroxine is T3 or T4, remember that T4 is thyroxine, which is contained in the drug name levothyroxine. T4 increases metabolic rate, which reverses the symptoms of hypothyroidism, a condition where the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormones. Some T4 is naturally converted into T3 in the body. T3 is actually a more potent or stronger thyroid hormone, which also helps with metabolic rate, but T3 levels are harder to manage and monitor. This is why levothyroxine, a T4 replacement hormone, is the preferred treatment method. T4 also decreases the production of thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH. Levothyroxine is primarily used as replacement therapy in hypothyroidism. Levothyroxine should alleviate signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism, such as fatigue, intolerance to cold, weight gain, bradycardia, dry skin, and more. Levothyroxine can also be used to prevent or treat goiters by suppressing pituitary gland secretion of TSH. Elevated TSH levels can stimulate and enlarge the thyroid, causing a swelling in the neck, known as a goiter. The side effects of levothyroxine are generally limited to overuse, causing the signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism. These side effects include insomnia, anxiety, headache, sweating, weight loss, intolerance to heat, and more. More severely, with overdose, levothyroxine can cause thyroid crisis or thyroid storm, which can be life-threatening. The more severe signs and symptoms of a thyroid crisis include fever, tachycardia, heart palpitations, and cardiac arrhythmias. So we know that levothyroxine raises T4 levels, which makes it contraindicated in clients who already have elevated thyroid levels, such as clients with hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis. Levothyroxine is also contraindicated in clients with a recent or current myocardial infarction, because it may increase the risk for cardiac arrhythmias, tachycardia, angina, and elevated blood pressure. Levothyroxine should never be used for weight reduction, as doses within the therapeutic range are ineffective for weight loss, and larger doses may actually cause serious adverse effects. Levothyroxine can also cause acute adrenal crisis, and is therefore contraindicated in clients with uncontrolled adrenal insufficiency. Always remember to assess and monitor for side effects of levothyroxine, especially changes in heart rate, chest pain, and fever, which may indicate overdose. Levothyroxine is often ordered about 30 to 60 minutes first thing in the morning, prior to eating breakfast or on an empty stomach. This is because the absorption of levothyroxine can be decreased by certain foods, vitamins, and supplements. Levothyroxine is usually administered orally and may take one to three weeks before it reaches its peak effect. Regular thyroid function tests, such as monitoring blood levels of TSH, T4, or T3, may be performed to help evaluate the effectiveness of the treatment, TSH being the most common. Lastly, as with most drugs, there are many drug-to-drug -drug interactions with levothyroxine, some of which include anticoagulants, antacids, epinephrine, and more. And that's about it for the basics of levothyroxine. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or visit rpnt.ca for more help.